All right, team, looks like we are good to go. BFIT Nation, welcome back to a special 1 p.m. edition of our Motivation Monday BFIT Live programmed workouts. All right, team, as we get settled in, I'm going to bring my screen up on uh, up in front of me. So that way, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below our Facebook live feed. Uh, that way we can address them as our workout progresses. But welcome into our BFIT Live programmed workout. If you are new to the program, <laughs> welcome in. Uh, we are happy to have you here. Go ahead and uh, kind of clear out your workout space. We have a cardio and resistance-based workout program for you and available today to help challenge you to have a little fun, but focus on yourself and your wellness uh, starting off the week. Uh, first and foremost, though, before we get started, I'd like to welcome my guest, Senior Math Sergeant Sonia Berry. How are you doing this morning or this afternoon, actually? <laughs> Hey, Brian, I'm doing really good. I'm uh, super excited to work out because I kind of missed my workout this weekend. So, so make sure I work out good. Hold me accountable. <laughs> <laughs> I will hold you accountable as you always hold me accountable. And that's what's great about having a workout partner is we help keep each other accountable. And uh, likewise for our viewers as well, go ahead and share this workout. That way you can help keep each other accountable on your end. Uh, to have a little bit of fun, but also challenge and help uh, encourage and motivate others, whether it's spouses, siblings, coworkers, uh, family members. Uh, go ahead and share this BFIT Live workout. Uh, that way, we can help uh, build our community and help our help keep each other, you know, on that right path of our health and wellness, focusing on that um, angle right there. But again, cardio and resistance-based workout for today. So we're going to work on keeping our heart rate elevated with some cardio movements, but also slowing our um, heart rate, our breathing, and focusing on our form with some resistance-based movements as well. Um, again, the timing for today, let's go over the timing. The timing for today is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each round. We'll have four different movements in between those rounds. So once again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, one minute rest in between each of those four rounds. Um, I will demo each movement. That way we know exactly what we're going to get into before the workout. We'll jump into some warm up, some dynamic stretching. Uh, that way, our bodies are prepared to work. And then we'll go ahead and start our timer and jump into the workout. Um, again, uh, let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know where you're engaging from right now. So leave a note in the comments below and uh, we'll make sure and pull it up. Matilda, so awesome to have you in the chat. I hope you will have a great workout uh, with Sergeant Barry and myself. Um, Let's start off with the movements here, the demo movements for today. If you have any dumbbells, any resistance, uh, go ahead and grab those now. Go ahead and grab a mat if you may need. We have uh, one final two movements on the floor, but I don't think um, you may need it. You may not, but go ahead and make that call for ourselves here. Uh, Patrick, uh, welcome in. Uh, join us. Go ahead and grab that. Um, go ahead and grab that mat. Grab those dumbbells if you have. If not, we'll go ahead and scale back and remove the dumbbells or we'll modify to uh, maybe uh, only use one dumbbell for the movements that we have. So let's start off with movement number one. Here we go, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Movement number one, that way we can go over. We have a dumbbell reverse lunge and a knee drive. So a couple of things here. If we have a pair of dumbbells, we can go ahead and grab that. If we don't have a pair of dumbbells, we can go ahead and eliminate the bells um, for this movement. We're gonna keep those bells off to the side for that initial start. We're gonna go back into a reverse lunge. So feet shoulder width apart in your workout space here. We're gonna take that right leg or left leg. We're gonna drop it back and down. At that bottom position, your knees should be at, at a relatively 90 degree angle. Chest is up, shoulders rolled back, drive up back to standing position. Once you're at that standing position, we can either A, stop here, B, add in that knee drive, toe points forward, right back down. And then you're back into an alternate, alternating uh, reverse lunge right up top with a knee drive or without. Option C, with the dumbbells here, go ahead and go into your reverse lunge, knee drive, hammer curl, right back down to standing position. All right, those are a few different movements, few different options to scale up or scale down the movement. Again, if we don't have any dumbbells, perfectly fine. We'll work on our control, on our balance, body weight will be just fine right here. Reverse lunge into our knee drive or without. Either way, all right, that's gonna be movement number one here, okay? Movement number two, we're gonna go back into one dumbbell here. We're gonna be down on the floor here, so a high plank position. A little bit of a combo movement here. 
we have a push up variation and we're also going to include a row okay if we don't have any weight then we're going to go ahead and eliminate that dumbbell and we'll just make a nice strong fist and go through that movement into a row but for those who do have a dumbbell let's go ahead and go into our high plank position push up here so hands are stacked underneath our shoulders nice flat back hips are square to the floor we're going to drop down into our push up with one hand off of the dumbbell from here make sure our feet are at least shoulder width apart or a little wider okay we're going to go into a row it's basically a renegade row come down into a push-up position and then go ahead and alternate to the opposite hand all right team so again hand stacked under our shoulder into our push-up drive up and then attacking that lat with that renegade row so a row right here so alternating left hand and right hand push up into an alt row if we need to eliminate the row let's go ahead and go down into our push-up and that would be it if we need to include a row but a little bit of a modification let's go down to our knees with that push-up come up into our row position and then we're going to tuck that elbow in close to our torso right so nice flat back hips stay square to the floor so push up with a row for movement number two all right movement number three a little bit of a heart rate elevation here we're going to go back with a pair of dumbbells or a single we have jumping jack presses so a little bit of cardio work here and some shoulder work into that jumping jack press so just like a traditional jumping jack where we have no weight but this time we're going to rack the weight into a press position overhead press we're going to go into our jack hands come all the way up extending biceps to the left and right of our ears legs out into our jack and right back to starting position right here so jack presses for movement number three okay if we only have one dumbbell maybe it's a little heavier we'll go ahead and front rack it to uh hold from the left and the right here on our bell and we'll go up into an overhead press a jack press just like this okay that's movement number three team all right last and final movement here we're going into movement number four where we focus a lot of activation on our core so we're thinking 10 wide 10 mountain climbers and one inchworm so a little bit of two for one here our traditional inchworm we stand at the back of our workout space here we drop down touch our toes we come out into a high plank position hands stacked under our shoulders right there once again 10 mountain climbers out of those 10 resets come back touching our toes come all the way back up to standing and then we drop down touch our toes once again into our high plank into our 10 mountain climbers reset and come back up to standing those are the four movements for today a lot of action a lot of work a lot of high intensity elena from fort sill welcome in welcome in so glad to have you here sergeant barry how does this sound it sounds good i like the variety it's gonna be fun <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun it's gonna be a lot of um high intensity i guarantee you things are gonna warm up very quickly in our in our workout spaces so again uh, grab that towel grab that water make sure you have some water on hand and let's get started okay uh dynamic stretching real quick just so we can warm up some some body parts here for specific movements let's start off with a dynamic quad stretch just to kind of open up our hips maybe we've been seated for a long period of time so let's take that right leg let's extend it back push those hips forward opposite arm goes up nice and tall really think about opening up our hips our quads and our shoulders as we go into each of these dynamic stretches for about 30 seconds each movement each movement here each dynamic stretch okay pushing those hips again forward arm goes up a little taller good 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 last 10 seconds here or so and three two one all right team reverse lunge with a reach just because we have movement number one with a reverse lunge this is a great time to really include that reverse lunge here reach over we have some lat work to do with our rows and reverse lunges to do on movement number one and movement number two this is a great time to kind of include some body weight movements here going through the motion really warming up our bodies warming up our joints our targeted muscle groups here right opposite leg 
Rear leg goes back into your reverse lunge, right arm comes up, reaches over to our left, passes the center of our body line here. Feeling that stretch in your lat here. Good, stand back up and repeat to the opposite side. Again, hips, hip flexors, find our balance here. Feet are always at shoulder width apart, even with that reverse lunge for stability. Two, one. All right, team. We do have inchworms for movement number four. So we might as well include them in our warm up. just about four or five to warm us up here. That'll be our second to last dynamic stretch here. We're gonna reach down, hands touch our toes, feel a stretch in our hamstring here. We're gonna walk it out with our hands into a high plank position. Pause for a second and then come right back. Feet shoulder width apart once again and you're back up to standing. Good, take this nice and control, bend our knees as needed to be comfortable reaching down into that inchworm, right? Out of that high plank. Again, reaching for our toes, back up to standing. Nice and smooth here. Two more here, into our inchworm. Back to standing position out of that inchworm. Last one here, reach down. Again, hamstrings stretching out here into the high plank. Nice pause here, core is nice and tight, contracted, back up to standing. All right, team, last and final movement here to round us out. How are we feeling? I hope we are almost loose here. Let's go into last but not least our YTWs, just to loosen up our shoulders, our mid to upper back, bringing those shoulder blades back to the movement, a little bit of um, a thought into that reverse, into that lower back. So. We're gonna make a nice strong Y position, feet shoulder width apart, hands are up front at center. That's gonna be our start point. Thumbs face in the back of the room into a big Y position. Coming back to center here, big T left and right. Send out as far as you can, bringing our shoulder blades back and a W, Y, T, Ws. We're just spelling out some letters here. Nice big Y here again, a little taller, a little wider left and right. Thumbs face in the back of the room, bringing our shoulder blades together, really squeezing at the top. W, last one here, big Y, nice deep breath in, big T, exhale, good, bringing our breath, breathing back down, last W here, all right team, grab that water, grab that towel, towel off real quick, I'm going to start our timer, and then we will be good to go, all right team, we are looking good, we are looking like we are ready to go, all right, remember, Reverse lunge with a knee drive. Movement number one, movement number two, a dumbbell alternating row, dumbbell push up with an alt row. Movement number three, we are in that jack press, jumping jack press for shoulder activation and some cardio work. And movement number four, 10 mountain climbers and one inch worm. All right, grabbing that pair of weight here, pair of dumbbells here, reverse lunge with a knee drive. Coming up in three, two, one. All right, team, here we go. Top of our workout space here, right leg goes back, 90 degree bend, think about focusing on those angles, pushing those hips back, chest stays up, shoulders stay rolled back as well, right? We never wanna roll out our back here. So think about rolling those shoulders back, especially once we get fatigued. 20 seconds and out here. Dumbbells are staying by my side for this first round. Good, 12 seconds here, we're doing great here. Nice controlled movement here. Last five, out in three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. Drop down to one dumbbell here. Doesn't take a lot of weight here with one dumbbell or make a nice strong fist when we go into that row. 10 seconds here into that high plank position. Dumbbell is in my right hand. I'm up in a high plank for my push up first. Up in two, one, here we go team. Off of the push-up, right hand pushes off of the bell here. Nice wide stance here into a row. Come back down, switch that weight to the opposite hand. And we're pushing up off of the left hand now. And we have that row tucked in. Elbow stays close to our torso here. Let's go at our own pace. <sighs> Little weight goes a long way with this one. Out of that three points of contact on the floor, really making it challenging for us to get up into that row, so keeping that core nice and tight. Good, five seconds here. Last three, two, one. 
All right, team, 20 seconds here. Let's jump up up top. Jumping jacks with a press. 13 seconds here. Every time I add these in, I think to myself, oh, these are gonna be a lot of fun. And then, and then round two, round three, round four, <laughs> the best. All right, setting up the top here. Nice front rack position, 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go ahead and work. A little weight goes a long way. If you have two, keep those dumbbells in the left and right. If you only have one, let's take one with both hands to the top like so. Good. Going at your own pace here. Good. Feeling some lower body activation, some adductors here outside of the thigh, outside of the glutes with that in and out of our legs. Shoulders are on fire. Last three seconds, two, one, and recover here. All right, team. <laughs> All right. Well, with that same amount of pace, that same amount of effort here, we're gonna stay with 10 mountain climbers and one inchworm coming up in five seconds. All right, team. 10 mountain climbers, two inchworms, setting ourselves up, 40 seconds on the clock. Here we go, high plank position, driving our knees, 10 in total. Out of those 10 mountain climbers, retract back, just like we did in our warm up. one inch worm, and we are back down, right? Nice controlled movement here. Again, our hands are underneath our shoulders, hips are square, back is flat. <sighs> driving our knees up, resetting ourselves, feet shoulder width apart. Controlling that on the way down, on the way up. Good job, Sergeant Barry. Last seven seconds. Good, out in five. Last three, two, one. Good job. Stand up nice and tall, nice and proud. We finished round number one. <laughs> good job, good work. As we come in again, we have 60 seconds, 45 now of rest in between rounds. So round number one is complete. Now we know exactly what we are gonna do. All right, team, for the next three rounds. Now's a great time to either scale up in weight, now that you know the movement, scale back in weight, maybe it's adjusting a few things within your workout space, but uh, now's a great time to kind of recalibrate and do what we need here for 20 seconds of recovery time before we jump into at reverse lunge with a knee drive. Ooh, all right. Hydrate, hydrate. Yes, ma'am. Five seconds here. Dumbbell reverse lunge with a knee drive coming up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Reverse lunge with our knee drive. Again, that added knee drive. Sure, we could just step up nice and tall and then come back into our reverse lunge. But adding in that knee drive really adds that instability for us to really focus on balance, core stabilization. Good, breathing, a little bit more control here. 12 seconds out of that rest and recovery time. This is a great movement here. Last five, out in three, two, one, and recover. 20 seconds here, dropping down to one bell. Push up to an alt row. If we have any trouble today with the push up, remember we can mod by going off of our knees, leading with our chest, keeping our hips up in two, one, like so. So we are on our knees again, stacking our hands underneath our shoulders, leading with our chest down into that four point stance. We are into our row. Think of palm to pocket when we row here. That dumbbell should be meeting below the chest line, 90 degree bend on our arm. That's a great angle to have into a row. So dumbbell comes a little bit lower at the waist level with our row instead of our chest level. Good, last 10 seconds, finish this out. Feet shoulder width apart or a little wider for more balance. And three, two, one, and time. Good job. Absolutely. All right, jumping jack to an overhead press. 10 seconds here, let's catch our breath. Again, if we have one bell, we can hold it left and right of the head as we move up. Three seconds here, 
two, front rack, 40 seconds. Here we go. Good. Think about this cardio work as a chance to really bump up our cardio, our calories being burnt as well. Asking from a lot of our body at a quicker tempo, less rest, burning those calories, burning that fat. 15 seconds here. Stay with us team. No dumbbells, dumbbells are not needed, but they add a little extra resistance here. Four, three, two, one, and recover here. Good job. 20 seconds. Good job. Find our breath. Heads up nice and tall. Side and bear, you're doing great. Thank you. I feel great. <laughs> That's, That's what I right. Tell myself. <laughs> That's right, 40 seconds here. We're gonna feel great with this one inch worm coming down, touching our toes, walking out into a high plank position. Good, 10 knee drives for our mountain climbers. Really focusing on our core. Reset our feet, walk back up to standing position. Again, <laughs> bending our knees as needed for comfort. As we go down, 15 seconds left, 10. Knee drives here for our mountain climbers. Back up. Good. Out in five. Last three, two, one. And recover here. 60 seconds. Good work. Yes, halfway. Halfway there. Halfway there. Halfway there. We are practically almost done. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the fun starts right where bodies are warmed up we know modifications we know where we're at today we know where our comfort level was at so now's a great time to scale up or scale back as needed but prefer if you can today we can scale up these movements right add in that bicep curl to movement number one movement number two try and stay in that high plank Try to stay off of our knees. Movement number three, raise the tempo a little bit more for that jack to press. And movement number four, again, tempo. Five seconds here, grab that pair of dumbbells, reverse lunge with a knee drive. Coming up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Good. Good, with that knee drive, give yourself a little bit of a pause at the top. We need to scale it up, right? A little bit of instability, a little bit of balance control, asking a little bit of effort from our, a lot of effort from our core, but also our ankles, our knees, our quads, calves, glutes, you name it. We're activating it right here with movement number one. 10 seconds here. Last five, chest is up, shoulders rolled back. Two, one, and time, good job. Good job. Round three, 12 seconds here. Good work team, good work. Stay with us here. Five seconds, three, two, one. Here we go. Into our alternating row, push up. Our push to alt row. Good, again. The goal, let's try and keep our hips square to the floor. Hands with the, <clears throat> really bring in our core nice and tight. Navel gets pushed back towards our spine. <sighs> Good, breathe in, breathe out. Nice deep breath in on the way down. <sighs> Exhale as you push up and hold that. Last five, out in three, two, one. Time, good job. Woo. I know. Oh. <laughs> Good. Gather ourselves here. Nice and tall. I hear the oxygen is a little better up top. Five seconds here. Jack to press. 40 seconds on the clock. Let's go, team. Good. Now stay with us here. As I mentioned, it does get a little hotter in the room. 
Three or four here. 20 seconds left. Halfway there. It's all in our heads here. Keep pushing. Good. Last 10. Stay with us. Last five. Out in three, two, one. Good job. Good job. Absolutely. Again, we had one bell. We can come up right here if our bell is too heavy. If our dumbbell is a little too heavy. All right. 10 and one. 10 mountain climbers and one inchworm. <laughs> here we go, Tim. We are up in three, two, one. We're actually down into our inchworm here. Compose ourselves again. Knees bent to our comfort. Hands are stacked underneath our shoulders. Good. Walk it back nice and controlled. Up into our inchworm. And right back down into our mountain climbers. Keeping our hips up just slightly for those mountain climbers. Walking it back, touching our toes. Scaling back, pushing those hips back as well. Last five. Out in three. Two, one, and time. Way to finish it out. Good job, team. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Standing up nice and tall, nice and proud. I uh, think we have roughly four weeks left of the year. <laughs> Might need to look at my calendar, but uh, four weeks left again. As we rest for 30 seconds here, last push to the end of the year. If we have any goals that we still need to try and push for, let's do it team. Let's do it. Time is going away 2020 here, 2021. 15 seconds here. Whew. All right, 10 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bells. <clears throat> we are up in five, last and final set. Sorry, very last, last round. Last round. Good, way to add in the knee drive. Nice and controlled. Adding in the bicep curl for this last and final round. A little bit of bicep activation. Again, be mindful of our shoulders. Rolled back, 13 and out. Whew. Nice deep breaths. Push back, sit back in those hips. Add in four, finish it out. Last one, three, two, one. Time, recover here. Recover. Dumbbell push to alt row. Last and final round here. <clears throat> Stay with us, 10 seconds. Shake it out, shake it out. Coming into that high plank here. <clears throat> push to alt row again, if we need to modify, we're coming off of our knees. If it's within us today, let's stay off of our knees into our press. Back is nice and flat <clears throat> into our row. Good. Remember that dumbbell comes, comes close to our waist rather than our chest. 18 seconds here. Good, core is nice and tight. Suck in that navel towards our spine. Good, last eight seconds. Stay with us. Last three, two, one, and time to cover here. Good job. Jumping jack press here. Good work, good work. Last and final round. Now's the time, it's getting a little tough. We're gonna leave it all out on this round here. Add in three, or up in three, two, one. 40 seconds here. Let's work. Good, stay in control here. You are in control. Good job. Stay with it here. Out in 15, 10, last 10 here. <laughs> Finish with a smile here. Out in five, three, 
two, one, and recover. Whew. Good work. Good work, team. Good work. Quick hydration here. 10 seconds. Wipe off, towel off. Find our breath here. Five seconds here. One inch worm, 10 mounts. We are up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Last and final set. Last set, best set, Sergeant Barry. All right. Good job. Keep that composure. Keep that tempo. Matter of fact, let's raise that tempo just a little bit more. Good. Last round. We're going to leave it all out here during today's live workout. 10 seconds here. Finish this out. Nice and strong. Last five. Finish out wherever we are. In three, two, one, and time. Ah. Good work, B-Fit Nation. There it is. That's a, it's a great recovery option here. That tells me we pushed ourselves. We worked really hard today. <laughs> Good work today, B-Fit Nation. Again, if you caught a glimpse of today's workout, it was a hybrid of both cardio and resistance-based movements. So we asked for a lot of your effort during both style of movements, but specifically uh, slowing our heart rates and really working on our form with those resistance-based movements like the reverse lunge and the push to press, right? Push to row. Those cardio-based movements, those jack presses and the mountain climbers really asked a lot from us in a cardiovascular standpoint that really raised our heart rate Oxygen level, breathing is a little more intense, <laughs> but now we get it under control here. So now's a great time if you want to kind of cool off, take some what we call freestyle stretching here, right? Uh, if you have any areas that are tight, be mindful of that type of cool down and recovery uh, after this workout. So be mindful of that, as well as the exchange, being here to support you in any way possible for your athletic, your health, your wellness, uh, sporting goods, apparel, wellness uh, treats within our malls, uh, nutrition within our exchange restaurants in, in each one of our uh, main stores, as well as smart snacking options at our convenience stores, at our express stores. So uh, we're here to help support you in any way possible that you may need. Uh, be sure and visit us online, shopmyexchange.com. And um, if you need any additional workouts or wellness or gear or nutrition talk, head to shopmyexchange.com forward slash be fit. That'll take care of any type of um, additional support that you may need as well. Sergeant Barry, how are we feeling over there? I'm good, I had a great workout. I really like that one. It's like one I'm gonna maybe do a few, few times after this, but <laughs> that was good. No, good job, way to push through again. I think there's a certain point within the workout where we start to click and our bodies get warmed up and we say, okay, we're settled in. Uh, this is a tough workout, but let's push through because we know we will be stronger for it at the end. Once we finish, we'll feel complete. We'll feel accomplished. We'll feel, you know, motivated knowing that it's behind you. And since it is Monday, we started the week off nice and strong, and we were able to look forward to the rest of the week, you know, heading in, setting the bar, setting the mindset, setting the tone, and really pushing and diving in forward uh, for the remainder of the week. Um, as always, Sergeant Barry, great work today. I appreciate you. Um, being my accountability partner, like we said in the beginning of the workout, I know I always see you pushing and it encourages me to push a little harder. So thank you so much. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, again, and if any, if you're looking for any additional, uh, videos, any lives, uh, on our Facebook page under our videos in our playlist, look, scroll down to our BFIT live, our BFIT playlist, where we have all of our previous uh, 72 uh, episodes of our BFIT Lives catalog right there. And if YouTube is your platform of choice, shop my exchange, doc, shop my exchange is the handle and then BFIT under that playlist. And you'll see all of those 72 with this one, 73 uh, BFIT Live workouts over there. So go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook and make sure and share, 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 share with your 
accountability partners, if you will. A uh, quick note that this Friday, uh, we will have uh, our BFIT uh, live will be a collaboration with PRX suspension trainers. So if that's something that you are interested in, be sure to uh, keep a lookout on our Facebook page for a BFIT TRX collaboration to really just see the benefits of a TRX suspension trainer and seeing what it's like to add that to your uh, workout tools, right? Your gear of choice, which uh, they have a lot of movements and workouts available to you. So uh, this Friday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, TRX BFIT live collaboration. With that, Sergeant Barry, anything else uh, that we may have missed on your end? No, oh, thanks again, Roy. Great work, everyone, and have a fantastic week. Yes, ma'am. Likewise. Well, we're signing out here. Have a good day.